I'm Tony Ahrens and I presented my research at the APS convention. We measured trait gratitude and then we, had, we asked people on 14 days in a daily diary to write about something good that happened that day that neither they nor anybody else caused. We then asked about their emotions, uh, we asked what they wanted to do afterwards, and what we found was that mindfulness measured before the Daily Diary predicted people's gratitude both then, trait gratitude, and it also predicted gratitude in the Daily Diary. So people wrote about this good event that neither they nor anybody else had, had caused. Those who were more mindful at the beginning were more grateful for those events during the Daily Diary. We also found in the Daily Diary that when people were more grateful, they wanted to help others more. And that effect was stronger for people who were more mindful, especially people who were higher in acting with awareness. So uh, acting with awareness for that, people high in that, on days in which they felt uh, more grateful, they were particularly prone to want to help others, less so when they were less inclined to help, uh, less grateful. Um, in the future, I'm interested in doing some experimental manipulations. Can we train people in mindfulness? And if we do that, will that increase their gratitude? Um, it's been a great convention, too. One of the things that I was particularly interested in was Sarah Conrath's work, in which she's shown that over time, there's been a decrease in empathy uh, in American college students. She's also shown in, sub, in other research that narcissism has been on the rise. One of the reasons why I'm interested in gratitude is that I've had a sense of that increase in narcissism, and I've been wondering whether uh, gratitude is something that could counter that, that uh, increase in narcissism. So I'm interested in gratitude for that reason, and I'm interested in mindfulness then, whether training people in mindfulness can help them to uh, just be aware of uh, things in their life, including that for which they are grateful. And if that in turn can end up countering some of the decrease in empathy and some of the increase in narcissism that we've seen over time. One other thing that I was particularly excited about here at the convention was David Brooks's talk. Um, it was great to see somebody out there uh, talking about psychology in the public forum. So somebody uh, who is widely read, who is um, being able to tell people beyond those of us here just in psychology about what it is that psychology is doing and really emphasizing the importance of psychology for matters of public import. Um, too often we end up talking to each, each other in psychology and it's useful for getting our message out. So it was great to see David Brooks presenting that.